ndugu wananchi wa Nairobi na langata hamjambo langata hamjambo bwana asifiwe asalamu alaikum asanteni sana kwanza mimi nataka nichukue nafasi hii nimshukuru Mungu kwa kupatia nafasi tufike hapa leo langata hapa Bellevue katika jiji yetu ya Nairobi kwa shughuli hii ya muhimu tumekuja hapa kuanzisha ujenzi wa nyumba elfu mbili na karibu tatu hamsini. nataka niwapongeze lap fund kwa mpango yao ya kushirikiana na sisi katika harakati hii ya kutafuta makao ambayo ni ya kufaa kwa wananchi wa Nairobi na wananchi wa Kenya to lap fund the board and management my congratulations for what you are doing in providing decent affordable housing for the citizens of this great city and for the people of Kenya and contributing to our quest and our aim to ensure that the millions of Kenyans in fact the six and a half million Kenyans that live in informal settlements have a place to call home which they own so you have my commitment you have my support and that is why I am here to endorse what you are doing and to encourage other players in this space for them to make a contribution as well in ensuring that we build on the program and on the plan that we have in our manifesto on housing Kenyans and making sure that we have more home owners in the Republic of Kenya. Kutoka kwangu nasema pongezi sana. Vile mumesikia hii mradi ambayo tunajenga hapa ya manyumba ni kati ya mipango ya serikali ya Kenya na tuko na mpango kamili kwa sababu wakati tulienda kwa uchaguzi tulikubaliana ya kwamba tuko na vijana karibu milioni moja kila mwaka wanatoka shuleni wanatoka katika vyuo wanaingia katika labor market na lazima tuwe na mpango kamili kama serikali na kama taifa ya vile hawa vijana watapata ajira kati ya mpango ambayo tuko nayo ya kupanga ajira ya vijana wanaotoka shuleni na vyuoni ni hii mpango ya housing na hii mpango ya housing vile mnajua kila mwaka tumekuwa tukijenga karibu nyumba elfu wa msini. na kati ya hizo nyumba elfu wa msini, asilimia moja peke yake 1% imekuwa katika kategori ya low cost amal affordable housing na ndio sababu hiyo tumebadilisha sera kama serikali kwamba tutaongeza nyumba ambazo tutakuwa tunajenga kila mwaka kutoka elfu wa msini hadi elfu mia mbili. na tutaongeza zile nyumba ambazo zinaweza kununuliwa na wakenya wa mapato ya chini kutoka asilimia moja mpaka asilimia hamsini. i want us to be very clear we are not only increasing the number of housing units that we are going to build as a nation from 50,000 every year but we want to increase it to 200,000 every year and we want to make the proportion of affordable housing from 1% to 50% of all the houses being constructed in the Republic of Kenya na ni kwa sababu kwa muda mrefu imeonekana kwamba kuwa na nyumba kuwa na uwezo ya kununua nyumba imekuwa ni ya watu wachache wale wanapata mshahara kubwa 
wale wanajiweza wale mapato yao ni ya juu wale wanaweza kulika, kulipa mortgage elfu ishirini, elfu hamsini na haijawezekana kufikia sasa tupate nyumba mwananchi wa kawaida ambaye anaweza kulipa mortgage ya shilingi elfu ine, elfu tano, apate nyumba ya kununua na aite ni kwake na ndio sababu mimi nataka tuelewane ndio sababu tuko na mpango ya affordable housing na ndio sababu hiyo tunataka tukienda mbele kuwa na nyumba sio lazima uwe tajiri ndio uwe na nyumba ya kuishi ambayo ni yako sio lazima uwe na mapato ya kiwango fulani tunataka hata yule mtu ambaye analipa rent shilingi elfu tano, aweze kulipa mortgage hiyo elfu tano, baada ya miaka kumi, kumi na tano, ako na nyumba ambayo ni yake hiyo ndio mpango yetu hapa across mimi nilikuwa hapa juzi hapa mkuru hapa pale tunajenga nyumba saa hizi ambayo mwananchi wa kawaida wa hapa mkuru ataweza kulipa shilingi elfu ine na mia sita baada ya miaka kumi na tano nyumba hiyo itakuwa nyumba yake that is where we are going with housing tunaelewana jameni mimi nataka tuelewane kama wa Kenya ya kwamba kuwa na nyumba ambayo unaweza kuwa kuita ni yako sio lazima mapato yako iwe ni wa kiango kiwango ya shilingi elfu sijui ishirini, sijui elfu mia moja, sijui elfu mia mbili hata mwananchi wa kawaida hasla wa kawaida anawezekana apate nyumba anaweza kulipa kwa bile bei anaweza na aite nyumbani kwake baada ya miaka 15 that is where we want to take our country tunaelewana jameni na ndio tumesema katika hiyo mpango tuko na mpango sasa ya housing fund na tumesema katika hiyo mpango ya housing fund na mimi nataka wale ambao ni wadosi especially wale ambao wana eh, wana represent wafanyikazi tuelewane vizuri tumesema ya kwamba kila mwezi mfanyikazi atoe 3% na pia tajiri wa mwenye ameajiri huyo mfanyikazi atoe 3% na hiyo pesa 6% itakuwa mali ya mfanyikazi That is how we begin. Tunaelewana jameni? Kama wewe kama mfanyikazi unatoa 1000, yule ambaye amekuajiri atatoa 1000, iwe 2000. Na hiyo 2000 sio pesa ya tajiri, sasa ni pesa ya mfanyikazi. So instantly before even you begin, every contributor you double your money before you begin by making sure that you force your employer to make a contribution towards the purchase of a house that you will call home tunaelewana jameni na ndio mimi nataka niwaulize kama wewe ni mtu ambaye unawakilisha wafanyikazi na wewe hutaki huyo mfanyikazi awe na nafasi ya kuwa na nyumba hutaki huyo mfanyikazi apatiwe na tajiri wake pesa ya kununua nyumba yake wewe unawakilisha mfanyikazi ama umenunuliwa na tajiri utetee haki ya tajiri badala ya kutetea haki ya mfanyikazi sio kama tunaelewana my friends tunaelewana so mimi nataka ndio kwa sababu hii maneno lazima tuambiane ukweli kama wa Kenya jameni kwa sababu tusipoambiana ukweli tutakwama. Tunaelewana? So, mimi nataka tuelewane hivi. Tunasema njia ya kuhakikisha ya kwamba mwananchi wa kawaida anaweza kupata nyumba atanunua kwa bei ambayo inatoshana na mapato yake. Shilingi elfu, ine, elfu tano 
na baadaye awe na nyumba ambayo anaita ni yake ni kuhakikisha ya kwamba tunafanya pamoja kwa sababu wewe nimesikia watu wengine wakisema mimi niko na nyumba ni mimi niko na haja gani na ku contribute wewe uko na nyumba kwa sababu uko na kazi yule ambaye hana kazi ni mkenya pia na hiyo kazi uko naye sio kwamba wewe ni special ni kwa sababu tu wewe umepata bahati ya kuwa na hiyo kazi hata yule ambaye hana kazi hata yule ambaye hana kazi akipatiwa nafasi angefanya hiyo kazi wewe unafanya sijui kama tunaelewana my friends so kama umebahatika umekuwa na kazi usimdharau yule mwingine ambaye hana kazi tusaidiane wewe unaweza kulipa mortgage ya 1200 1500 tafadhali tusaidiane hata huyu ambaye mapato yake ni 1400 1500 ata yeye apate nafasi ya kulipa mortgage ya 4 ama 5000 ili kama vile wewe ambaye unapata mshahara kubwa uko na mortgage ata yeye apate nafasi ya kuwa na mortgage so that we become all homeowners in the Republic of Kenya Sijui kama tunaelewana Na mimi nataka niwaeleze Mimi nilifanya campaign na nilifanya campaign na viongozi wengi na hawa viongozi nilifanya campaign na wao walinisikiza vizuri nikisema kuna mpango ya housing si ndio and it was public nilisema tuko na mpango ya housing sasa msinikeuke hapa katikati kwani mlikuwa mnafikiri hiyo housing ilikuwa ni siasa ya maneno ya kuongea tu porojo bana Habana <laughs> habana habana. Sikizeni my friends. Nyinyi viongozi wenzangu. Na waomba kwa unyenyekevu. Tuwe ni watu waaminifu. Tulienda kwa wananchi. Tukawaambia wananchi wa Kenya tutapanga mpango wa housing. Na hiyo housing itasalisha nafasi ya ajira kwa vijana wetu na itamuwezesha mwananchi wa kawaida hata na yeye apate nafasi ya kuwa home owner katika Republic ya Kenya. Mbona saa hii mnataka kuchanganya maneno tena bwana? Kwani kumeendaje? Na mimi najua wengi wenu tayari muko na mortgage. Sasa nyinyi mortgage yenu mumepata. Saa hizi mnataka ku sabotage mortgage ya mwananchi wa kawaida. Ah bwana 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 No 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 no. Habana. Hiyo hiyo haiwezekani. Ama namna gani? Si kama wadosi wamepata yao, si ya wananchi pia tuwapatie. Eh bwana. Eh hapo ndio maneno iko. Si ndio? So mimi nataka niwaulize tafadhali. Every leader every member of parliament and mca saa hii wako na mortgage si ndio sasa tafadhali sasa tupange mortgage ya hawa mahasila pia na tutapanga hapo kwa housing fund hapo ndio tunapangia mortgage ya hawa wananchi pia ama niaje tuko pamoja tuko pamoja jameni kwa sababu tunataka kuhakikisha ya kwamba tunaweka pesa zetu pamoja so that we can create the opportunity for ordinary citizens to also have an opportunity to get mortgage and my good friends we went to the campaign we went everywhere tuliwaambia wananchi tutakuwa na mpango ya housing na hiyo mpango ya housing itazalisha ajira na itapatia wananchi nafasi ya kuwa home owners katika Republic of Kenya mimi nataka niwaambie hivi tafadhali tuache siasa kidogo kidogo hii ya mashindano tupange maendeleo ya taifa letu la Kenya Kenya imekwama kwa sababu ya viongozi kuwa wako na ujanja mambo ya ujanja tuwache ile tulisema tufanye si ndio kwa sababu wananchi walipiga foleni mapema bwana wakatupatia nafasi ya uongozi sasa tupange mambo yao tuwache story mingi 
Amani aje jameni. So please, my good, uh, my good friends, leo mimi nimekuja hapa so that we can all be clear. Housing fund, the contribution you make in the housing fund is not a tax. Sio ushuru, hiyo ni pesa yako. Hiyo ni pesa yako, sio pesa ya ushuru. Na hiyo pesa yako, ukitoa shilingi moja, yule ambaye ni amekuajiri, anatoa shilingi moja. Ndiyo, na hiyo pesa yote inakuwa pesa ya mwananchi. Alafu ndiyo tunapanga vile hawa wananchi. Nimesikia watu wakisema sasa hii pesa itakuwaje. It is the shillings that will become thousands and that will become millions and that will become billions and that, that, that's the money we are going to use to build affordable housing. Na tumefanya mambo matatu tayari. Jambo la kwanza. Tatizo kubwa kwa mambo ya mwananchi wa kawaida kuwa na nyumba ni kwa sababu hawezi kulipa ile gharama ya ardhi. Si ni kweli? Plot kupata hapa si ngumu. Lakini sasa hapa mukuru plot hapo tumetoa kama serikali free of charge. Tumefanya eh, ushirikiano na counties. Counties 41 tayari wametupatia shamba for free ya kujenga manyumba ya wananchi wa kawaida we already have 4000 acres in the republic of kenya in different counties ya kujenga ya kufanya mpango wa affordable housing jambo la kwanza jambo la pili tumeondoa ushuru kwa mambo yote ambayo itatumika kwa affordable housing jambo la tatu tume standardize ile products yote kama ni madirisha kama ni milango kama ni hinges kama ni ile mambo yote inahitajika all the products we have standardized ili tuhakikisha kwamba they can be produced in mass and we can reduce the cost of construction of affordable housing and number three, number four, tumekubaliana na world bank tumekubaliana na africa development bank ya kwamba wata support wananchi wale watakao tafuta mortgage be, uh, beyond what the citizens can put together so that they can afford houses this is a program it is it is a program that we cannot afford, afford to fail to do tunaelewana jameni nafasi ya kuzalisha ajira si mmesikia hapa imetangazwa hapa hapa kutakuwa na ajira ya watu elfu tano. Hapa Nairobi kama tutakuwa tunajenga nyumba elfu hamsini kila mwaka hii Nairobi tutakuwa na nafasi ya karibu ajira elfu mia, mia mbili hamsini elfu mia tatu ya vijana wa Nairobi. Kama ni nyumba 200,000 kwa Kenya tutakuwa na nafasi ya ajira ya wakenya karibu milioni moja kila mwaka katika taifa letu la Kenya we must be deliberate we must be intentional about creating jobs for the millions of young people who are leaving our schools our colleges our universities and make sure that we have opportunities for them to uh, to work and for them to get employment it is an existential imperative for us as a nation we must have a plan tunaelewana jameni So mimi nawauliza. Hapa mmesikia kutakuwa na watu wa jua kali watatutengenezea madirisha, watatutengenezea milango. Hapa hapa kutakuwa na watu wenye watatuuzia mchanga, watatuuzia mawe, kuna hapa hapa watatuuzia chakula, wale wa mama wa plot 10 hapo watatuuzia chakula. Hapa hapa tuko na warembo wataanza kufanya marketing ya hizi manyumba hapa 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 kutakuwa na mafundi kutakuwa na masons kutakuwa na carpenters kutakuwa na electricians kutakuwa na wale wengine wote mafundo wa aina mbalimbali hiyo harakati yote ni kupatia nafasi kila mkenya aweze kuchangia katika kupeleka taifa letu la Kenya mbele na kila mkenya apate riziki ili tuweze kwenda mbele kama taifa tumekubaliana jameni Munasema tunaenda hii barabara pamoja ama mnataka watu watuchukue lukumba? Tunaenda pamoja? 
Unaenda pamoja? So, mimi nataka tuelewane vizuri. We have the housing fund unlocks great potential for us. It is the avenue for ordinary people to have access to a mortgage and to have access to a house that is affordable. It is the opportunity for us to provide employment for the millions of young people living our institutions of higher learning. It is an opportunity for us to expand our industrialization in the area of construction products, construction material from steel to cement to doors to hinges to uh, windows and the whole scope. This is the opportunity we have for us to move our country forward and I want to ask for the understanding of all of us so that we can move together. Tumekubaliana jameni? Tuko pamoja? Na mimi nitazidi kueleza. Eh. Kwa sababu hii ni mpango bana unajua nilichaguliwa kufanya hii kazi. Na hii kazi lazima nifanye na bidii. Tumekubaliana? Tumekubaliana? Vile 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 tumekubaliana ya kwamba mambo ya uchaguzi si tulimaliza. Sasa nafasi hii sio ya viongozi na vieo na sikutafuta sijui nini. Nafasi tuko nayo sasa ni ya kazi ya kupanga maendeleo ndio hawa vijana wapate ajira kina mama wafanye biashara na kila mtu apate riziki katika Kenya ambayo sisi wote we are stakeholders tuko pamoja jameni so mimi nimefurahi sana kufika hapa na mimi nataka niwahakikishie watu wa Nairobi kama vile nawahakikishia watu wa Kenya hii mpango tayari nime launch construction ya manyumba karibu 1040 kufikia sasa Nitarudi hapa makongeni hivi karibuni kulonja another 20000 units nitaku ndarudi langata hii mmesikia tuko na mpango ya hapa langata na mimi nataka niwaulize viongozi wote wenzangu na mimi simkozoi kiongozi yeyote mimi nasema nataka niwaulize viongozi wote tuelewane tushirikiane tusifuate mambo ya porojo na propaganda tuhakikisha kwamba wananchi wanasonga mbele pamoja <laughs> <laughs> eh kabisa was namkiri tuko pamoja so mimi sitaki kusema kuzidi hapo nataka niwaambie ndugu zangu MCS asanteni sana kwa kutusaidia katika hii mradi asante sana for the approvals wale <laughs> wa hapa Nairobi tumepata ushirikiano mzuri sana na county government ya Nairobi na county assembly ya Nairobi katika hii mpango yetu ya affordable housing they have been ready to work with us to make the approval process smooth and clear mimi nataka niwaulize wale wengine wote tushirikiane tufanye hiyo kazi pamoja ndio tupeleke uh, taifa letu la Kenya uh, mbele na mimi nataka niweseme nikiwa ninasema ya, ya mwisho niwaeleze my friends sisi wote tulienda kwa uchaguzi tulienda kwa uchaguzi tukapeleka mipango yetu kwa wananchi katika hiyo mpango tulipeleka kwa wananchi tuko na mpango ya locals housing tuko na mpango ya NHIF tuko na mpango ya MSME tuko na mpango ya eh, eh, digital super highway tuko na mpango hiyo ya housing na mimi nataka niwaambie manifesto tuliyoandika na tukauzia wa Kenya na wakatupigia kura sio gazeti ya kuvunga nyama ni sera ya kuendesha serikali Sijui kama tunaelewana bwana So ta... <laughs> tafadhali So naamini ya kwamba tutashirikiana namna hiyo Mwisho kabisa Contractor wewe umesikia ma, ma, mambo ya watu wa hapa Bellevue na watu wa South Sea hapa. MCA ameongea, mjumbe ameongea. Amesema ile kazi yote ambayo unataka ifanyike hapa tuko na vijana ambao wa kufanya hiyo kazi. Maneno ya kutoa watu sijui dunia gani kulete huku, hiyo ni marufuku. Hii kazi yote 
<coughs> ndio ifanywe na watu wa Nairobi hii na ifanywe na vijana wa hapa tuhakikisha kwamba kila kijana anapata nafasi ya ajira anapata nafasi ya kupata mapato so mujue si tulisema kazi ni kazi ama tulisemaje si tulisema mboka ni mboka atuko pamoja so asanteni sana mujue mimi nawapenda sana na mimi nawatakia heri na watakia baraka ya Mungu na tutaona na hivi karibuni. Thank you very much and God bless you. Asante. Nitaomba mheshimiwa rais kusalia kwenye jukua. Tutapiga picha mbili kwa ruhusa yako mheshimiwa rais. Was, PS wetu mwenyekiti na CEO tafadhali kwa picha moja.